Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so excited to share with you tonight. Oh my gosh, today is July 1st and it has been a busy day. I have been working all day on thank you cards and project kits for everybody who ordered in June because we're leaving tomorrow morning to go on vacation. And so I'm trying to get everything done, get things packed up. My husband ended up working late. I had to run at the last minute to help my son get gas for the lawnmower so he can mow the lawn. It's just been one of those days. Are you guys having one of those days too? Is it, <laughs> is everything just going going on today? Um, I'm, I'm so happy though to take a break with you tonight and do a little stamping because I don't know about you, but stamping and paper crafting really does feel like therapy to me. Like it's so great just to relax and concentrate. The thing I love about making a card is that, um, you finish it, you know, like, uh, I always said I would start scrapbooking when I had kids, but then I didn't have time because I had kids, <laughs> but scrapbooking is kind of like a long-term project, right? Like it might not take long to finish a page, but to complete an entire album takes hours and hours and hours. And to be able to complete a card, you can just finish that and do that and feel that sense of accomplishment and then send it on and bless somebody else. And so that's what I love about card making. And that's why it is a little therapeutic for me uh, because I can make something beautiful and then send it on and share. So today I was working on thank you cards and I packed each one up with love to everyone who ordered saying a little saying a little hello, a little thank you. And it made me smile knowing that they were going to get something fun. And this time I sent a lot of like birthday cards and cards from my swap stash. So if you get a card and it doesn't say thank you, it doesn't mean I don't want to say thank you. I just tried to send a, a real good variety this month. And the idea, I always leave them blank. The idea is that you send it on and bless somebody else. Oh, thank you so much for sharing, Bonnie, and welcome, everyone. Happy Thursday. Happy July. I can't believe it's July 1st. If you're a demonstrator, today was the first day to pre-order from the July through December mini catalog. Last night, I completed my mailing selector, so if you shop with me regularly, um, then you're going to get a copy from me in the mail. I did decide to send it through Stampin' Up, and so it comes bulk rate. So anyway, they're going to ship it in another week or two. And it may take a little longer to come. I don't know, last time they were okay. So I thought I would chance it and do it again just because I had so many to send and it just seems like the most efficient way was to just let Stampin' Up! do it. So you'll have to let me know when you start receiving your catalogs. Demonstrators, you can order on a demonstrator order and pre-earn celebration gifts right now. Everybody else, this catalog will start August 3rd. So you may start seeing some demonstrators share these products, but you have to wait a few more weeks. And if you can't wait, you should join as a demonstrator this month in July and you can pre-order straight from this catalog in your starter kit so you can choose brand new products to get in your starter kit when you join in July so if you'd like some more information on that let me know I have 120 jubilant stampers all across the United States and we'd love for you to join us all right Let's jump right in. Something fun that's going on right now for everyone is a designer paper sale. I love it when Stampin' Up! does this because they have the most gorgeous designer paper. And earlier today, I shared a video of the Stampin' Up! artists coloring. They hand color and hand paint some of these designer papers. So I'm going to show you that paper a little bit later called Hand Penned. But I wanted to show you designer paper projects tonight because the designer paper is on sale. We've got nine different papers from the annual catalog that are on sale for 15% off in July. So you can get these all in my online store, juliedavison.com slash shop. I'm going to show you three tonight. We're going to work off the top row, um, but there are some really fantastic patterns. Almost all of the ones from the annual catalog are on sale. 
So if you love designer paper as much as I do, you're definitely going to want to stock up this month. Tell me which one of these designer paper is your favorite. Which one are you eyeing? Or maybe you've already put it in your shopping cart to get this month. We've got the Beauty of the Earth, which is what I'm going to show you first here. That's the tree paper. It's so pretty. I'm going to show you all the patterns so you can get a good look at that. Bloom where you're planted. I'm going to show you that one too. This is the house plants. Really great paper. Hand penned. Beautiful soft florals. This is the one we used last night for the soft succulents class. Um, did you see that on YouTube? That was so much fun. We made five different cards using Simply Succulents and the hand pinned. Then we've got In Good Taste, which is textiles and wood grains in the wild with the different wild animals and prints. Petal pansy or pansy petals. That's a really beautiful one featuring many of the new in colors. Sweet Symmetry is definitely one of my favorite. I love these small patterns. Um, maybe we'll sneak 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 some projects in at the end of our video and just share some samples with you tonight but i won't be using that one tonight tidings of christmas i'm going to show you this really quick so last night i did a stamp of the month card class and we featured Simply Succulents and the Hand Penned next month, or this month rather, because now July, I'll be featuring Tidings and Trimmings. And so this is one of the cards that we'll be making in that class. So this paper is on um, sale this month too. It's a six by six Tidings of Christmas, really pretty traditional green. We've got the evergreen and then the cherry cobbler, mint macaron soft succulent i mean uh beautiful colors beautiful christmas paper and then the last one is your peach which oh, is just beautiful i think we used that last week uh, so let's jump right into our first project i don't know that i've shared a lot of this beauty of the friendship i've used it a lot but i don't know that i've shared it on video a lot this is one of my favorite new suites from the catalog we have a beautiful stamp set that's a distinctive so we've got some different shading here to the trees um, and then beautiful coordinating dies that die cut the images as well as we've got like a larger tree image and then there are dies that cut the foliage and you can layer them maybe I did show that in another video so we've got like this foliage one you can cut this from the designer paper and then layer it I think I have a card to show you that's like that and then the die cut tree on top so this one has so many possibilities and then this beautiful new bark embossing folder is just so wonderful for adding texture so today we're going to do a pretty simple card i wanted to showcase this designer paper now stampin has been doing this a lot and i think there's at least three or four papers that have sheets like this and you might be wondering why <laughs> this we've got this beautiful tree pattern and then upside down tree pattern and then this white space in the middle and and so I just wanted to kind of explain, because there are, like I said, several patterns like this. The idea is that you cut it apart to make card friends. So I just wanted to show you how I cut this. So I'm going to cut it at four inches. And if you do that two more times, then you can have three rows. Okay. And then I'm going to take and cut it this way. Now my card front, if I do four inches, I'm, the other way is going to be five and a quarter. And this is going to fit onto a card front just perfectly. And look what I have on the other side, almost exactly the same thing. So I'm going to cut that at five and a quarter too. And this little white piece, and I can use that for something else now. But now I've got card fronts. And if I cut them all, I'm going to have eight identical card friends. So that is kind of the idea behind these designs that have the white pattern in the middle is that you can create eight card friends from one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. Of course, you can use it for whatever you'd like. You can cut it differently, but that is just sort of the idea behind that white space in the middle. So I just wanted to show you that. Let me show you all the patterns in this designer paper. Let's see, where is somewhere I... I thought I set aside a stack of the paper. Um, oh, I might have put it away. Nope, that's not it. Oh my goodness. I have tons of cards to show you. But where does the paper go? Well, <laughs> I'm just going to get it out of the bag. I, don't, I guess I didn't plan that so, so well. Um, let's move this over. So we've got, I'm sorry, these are not very well organized. Let's see if I can pull out one of each. Um, nope, that's the same one. The bigger one. Um, da -ba -do. There we go. I think. Nope, that's the same one. 
There should be six. One, two, three, four, five. Golly, which one are we missing? Oh, oh, I know which one it is. I think it's the row of trees, this one. Okay, so we've got these beautiful tree and foliage, and then on the other side, some watercolor. I love this one for winter on the back side. Look at that. This misty moonlight is just really pretty paired with the garden green. Different greens here. This is one that it looks like trees, right? But then if you die cut close up, it looks like individual leaves. Really love this bark pattern on the back side. This is the one I just showed you. And on the back side, we've got some some kind of evergreen trees going on there. This is another one that looks like foliage. I love the different fall colors. And this one reminds me of looking up from underneath a tree. Oh my gosh, you know fall is my favorite, my very favorite time of year. So this paper just sings to me. I love the colors. I love it. That's like so perfect for a little sky. So that's the designer paper. This is a 12 by 12 paper. Let me show you some card samples and then I'm going to make up this card. Or should we make the card first? Let's make the card first and then I'll show you the other card samples. I can't make up my mind tonight. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I've, I've cut to the paper. You saw that it's five, four inches by five and a quarter. And I am going to layer this onto some Merlot. What is it called? Um, Mary Merlot. Did I get out the ink pad already? Um, why can't I think of it? Yeah, I was right. Mary Merlot. And then we're also going to need soft suede. So this card is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to do some stamping on the two white pieces using the tree. I'm going to stamp the tree first, kind of down toward the bottom. I want to make sure I've got enough room for the whole thing to fit. And I'm going to do one here on the inside of the card as well. While I've got this out, I'm going to do the sentiment which says, I believe in you. And I die cut this label. This is actually part of the die set. There's two different labels here that fit some of the sentiments. And then we're going to add the Mary Merlot right over the top of the foliage. Actually, there are two stamps, and I think I wanted to use the other stamp. <laughs> I got it wrong and I'll show you how they layer together and you can use them both together but I actually prefer the look of just the bottom one by itself let me show you the difference here so on this one this is the bottom one bottom one <laughs> you have like some different shading of the color so you've got the dark and then you've got the lighter in the background and this is more like the extra detail that is supposed to be like on top so I'm going to try, let's, let's try to use the same color. I'm going to do a little stamping off really quick and let's see if we can get like a two, like a two step kind of going on and you can compare and see what you think. So I'm using that solid stamp. This is the bottom one. That's what is right here. I'm going to stamp off so that I can have a lighter color and then stamp it over the top here. So the idea of layering these two together is that you get some more depth, but I find that the bottom one just works fine on its own. So that's what I prefer to use, but you can layer them. And of course you can also do that with different colors. Let me clean it really quick and show you. Um, let's try it and you can see what you think with like a totally different color. Um, like, okay, that's clean enough. Let's do like, um, bumblebee. This might be like way too different. So bumblebee on the bottom and then, so that's kind of pretty when you have a, more of a contrast in the different colors there. Okay, so those are the pieces for our card. And we're gonna do some simple layering. 
and add those together. Now I mailed back all the cards for the great big card slot. My son was helping me and we did like all the weighing and we added like little pieces of um, postcard on top so that we can cushion it for all the accessories like the ribbon and the rhinestones and things to kind of flatten it out but some of them were kind of bumpy so I did mark them as non-machinable and we um, we put an extra little stamp on it so that it would get to everybody okay uh, but it really made me think about the things that we put on our cards like the the postal machines really are not meant <laughs> to handle um, all these little extra doodads and stuff that we put on our cards so I thought for this card I'm gonna keep it really simple and we're just using just cardstock on this card I'm looking for my scissors here they are I'm gonna do just a quick little trim to create some angle on on this so adding a little bit of interest so you really don't need like sometimes I think we get carried away with all the fancy tools and dyes and things and just sometimes a real clean and simple card especially with the designer paper like let the designer paper do the work our designer paper is so beautiful and you don't need a whole lot to dress it up and let it just sing when I think about that I'm gonna put that on with a couple dimensionals they're pretty squishy. I think they go through okay. I can't, I find it really hard <laughs> not to use dimensionals. Okay. I feel like this is, I don't know, breaking that tree chunk. So I'm just going to go so that you can see it. I don't know. What do you think about that? Real clean and simple. Do you guys like clean and simple cards? I know some of you really dress up your cards and they are just beautiful. But sometimes clean and simple is nice too. Hi Sharon, I'm so glad you joined us. Oh good, I'm so glad you like this card. Give me a little thumbs up. Give me a heart, let me know you're watching. You guys are really quiet tonight. Um, <laughs> let's look at some more cards using the Beauty of Friendship bundle and the designer paper. I've got some beautiful cards that I've received from other demonstrators and some that I've made myself. So I just wanted to share those with you and show you this paper. Here's one by Janet Casto that she created with the same designer paper and the die cut um, tree. This is one that I created. Love this layout. I used the bark embossing folder on that designer paper. This is such an easy layout. And look, no trees on this one. This designer paper pattern is one of my favorite. I really just wanted to let those colors sing. Used a new tag with a stitch. And then the, the bird is actually in the, um, in the dies with the Beauty of the Friendship set. Here's another one that I created for a swap using that awesome winter designer paper back here. This is... Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight is the lighter blue. I just stamped the tree three times without re-inking. And then can you, do you notice that splatter? That's a little wink of Stella. I just did a like a, you know, just like shaking it, tapping it on the card to get that. Here's another one. Again, this is just the bottom stamp of those, but it still has that variation in color with a little light and a little dark. This is Bumblebee and uh, Mossy Meadow and little designer paper on the side. Another really clean and easy quick card. Here's one where I use those detailed dies. I die cut this from the paper and then added it over a solid color of the Mossy Meadow cardstock. Lots of designer paper on this one for the foliage, for the background, and the strip here at the bottom. Love the way this card turned out. This one was a swap. This one is by Kay Kaltoff, and she used that same designer paper with a detailed tree die cut. This is actually from a different die set that has trees, and it has coordinating words as well. I forget the name of that one. Love the tasteful texture in the background. Can you see it there? Really nice backdrop for the designer paper. Same designer, or same embossing folder, same die. This one is by Monica Davis, and I love her little one inch, half inch strips 
one by two, half inch by two of the designer paper back here. What a great way to show off all the patterns because they're just all so wonderful. This card's by Dina Rikau and she used my favorite paper for this heartfelt sympathy card. I actually have to send a couple sympathy cards so I might case this one tonight and make up those cards before we leave. Really clean and simple. Can you see the linen thread back there? Nice little detail without adding too much bulk. Oops, is that the same card? I just didn't put it down. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, so lots of cards with this beautiful designer paper. And this is one, the Beauty of the Earth, that is 15% off in July. It's the first one right here. So we're featuring projects tonight uh, that all feature this designer paper, and I've got lots of card samples to show you. So let's go ahead and move on to our next project. Um, so this was Beauty of the Earth. I really should have had like a bucket. I'm just going to try to stack everything on the side. I'm trying to trying to stay organized. Okay, our next one is going to be, oh yes, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, let me bring it in here. Doot, doot, doot. This is the Bloom Where You're Planted designer paper. And I cut it down to six by six, but it does come 12 by 12. And this one's really pretty with different shades of green. We've also got the cinnamon cider, like the bricks and just different ferns and house plants. So some of these you can die cut with the coordinating dies. And other ones, there's also the pots that you can die cut as well. And more, oh, that's the same. That's the same pattern. I accidentally had two of them. <laughs> this one, you would fussy cut uh, those plants. And then this last pattern is another one that is like that paper I just showed you where it has this on one side and on the other with the white in the middle so you can cut and create the card fronts with that. This, again, would make really quick and easy cards. Another good one, I think, for making a simple sympathy card. So maybe I'll do something with that. Okay, so today's card was inspired by um, Meg Lovin. I'm going to show you this one first. So um, last so last Friday, a couple Fridays ago, we had a team meeting. Meg is my sideline. Um, we signed up, actually, we're kind of twins. We signed up the same month of the same year in June 2002. So we just celebrated 19 years as Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Meg lives in the town right next to me. And so we work together a lot on team meetings and doing stuff with our teams. Um, and and we see each other and, and work together quite a bit. So um, she led a mystery stamping project for our big team meeting, the Impeccable Stampers, a couple weeks ago. And she just nails the designer card base, designer paper card base cards. And so that is the card that she designed for us. So she gave us all the measurements and she led us through it. So this is the one that I created uh, watching the replay of the meeting using the pansy petals paper and so you can see the whole thing is a piece of designer paper so i'm going to do this same layout using the bloom where you're planted and plentiful plants um, bundle because it's so quick and easy i think i shared some designer paper card bases back during celebration and you guys just loved it it's, it's such a fun um such a fun way to do a card. Now, I just had a thought. I was going to do a horizontal like this, but now I'm wondering if I should do a vertical card using that same layout. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to. Let's give it a shot. So this is another one where we're going to cut it four inches. And um, with the designer paper card base, you're you're going to cut your 12 by 12 um, designer paper into three four inch pieces. And you can create three cards then from one 12 by 12 piece of designer paper. I'm going to set those two aside. We're just going to do one in our video today. Um, so this is four inches. That's so a little bit smaller than a regular card, like a little less wide. Uh, but we're going to still keep the same length. So I'm going to score at five and a half. Um, and yes, this is right. Five and a half. And then I'm going to score again at five and a half. Or rather, that would be a total of 
11 inches. <laughs> so we're going to fold in half at the five and a half. And then at the 11, we'll fold that back. Okay, so you can see we've got this long piece folded in half and then a little bit extra that comes up at the top. And I just like to just go ahead and glue that down with some regular adhesive. So you get a little bit of that inside, which is so fun. And then I love that you can see this pattern on the inside because being able to see the inside, um, being able to see the inside pattern just makes it so much fun. I hate sometimes covering up the designer paper because it's so pretty on both sides. So with the designer paper card base like this, you have the best of both worlds because you can see both the inside and the outside. All right, so to to use the same layout that Meg did, I'm using a piece of coordinating designer paper. So this piece, let me cover that up. This piece is two and a half inches by three inches. And then the designer paper that I'm holding is three quarters of an inch by three and a half. So this is just a coordinating pattern from the designer paper. And I'm just gonna use that to go across and add an accent. So I'm gonna add this. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down. This is going to be on the right side. And I think I forgot to tell you, I just did it. I added some designer paper on the inside of the card uh, and this adds some stability to the paper because otherwise it can be a little, a little flimsy. So this is just a three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter piece of basic white cardstock. So that just kind of makes it a little more sturdy there at the bottom. All right, let's add our designer paper. And we're going to do some stamping with the plants. I got them, got them ready to go. Let's bring them in here. I've got the coordinating garden green, which is a lighter of the green color in here. And I think, I think, think, think that I'm going to use Sahara sand for the pot. And we're going to die cut these. Oh yeah, I will like that a lot. Now, do you notice on these stamps, like they have a little variation in color and they're absolutely meant to be like that. So it's not gonna stamp solid. I kind of like it because sometimes when it's solid and it doesn't stamp all the way, then I feel like, oh no, I messed up. So this is really nice that it has a little bit of variation there. So if you do mess up, it's okay. <laughs> Hi Kay, thanks for sharing. Everybody's being so quiet tonight. I just, I just see, Everybody is watching. Not a whole lot of talking tonight. What do you guys want to talk about? Anybody have any questions? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what to talk about. And I and I feel like uh, like I'm just talking to myself. So ask me a question, then I'll feel like I've got somebody to talk to. This is a half inch by three inches of Sahara sand cardstock. And I stamped the sentiment to a dear friend um, using the... Um, Blah, 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 jeeves. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you think, oh, evening evergreen. I actually want to do that a little more in the middle. And then I think I'm going to do a, a little bit of an angle on this. And yeah, I'm going to layer that a little bit. Let's get out Lucy to help us with our die cutting. Hi, Margo. All right, if you're a demonstrator, and I know many of you are, tell me if you put in a pre-order today. I want to hear about what you're excited to order. Did you get your order in? I got an order in. <laughs> I ordered, oh, I always love to order um, like all the new designer paper so I can see that in person and show it off and then like new accessories and things like that and I picked out a couple bundles and um, what did I get? There was a sweet, there was like a fall sweet with cork. I ordered the whole thing. I really am excited about that one. And then um, I ordered the Halloween sweet and there were some things that we got in Maui and so I got to coordinating coordinating things like we got I got some leaf dies and I ordered the stamps that go with them I'm gonna try without the post-it notes and just see if I can get this to go through 
without slipping. Oh, now you guys are chatty. All right. <laughs> Mary says she got the angel set. Carmen's got an order in today. Tony said she put her order in and can't wait to get the penguins. Yes! Oh, I forgot about the penguins. There's a new penguin stand with a coordinating punch and designer paper. It's so stinking cute. Robin says, I cannot think about Christmas yet. <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, and Mary says she put it in order too. Oh my goodness. Um, Sean says, do you prefer a designer paper as a card base or cardstock? I like to mix it up. Um, I think it's really pretty to use designer paper and especially when you have a pattern that is so pretty on the inside and the outside. Like, I just love the way that turned out and it's, it's, it's really pretty. This is a great one, I think, to do as a card base. This one too, I think is going to turn out really nice. So, um, a little bit of both. I would say normally I just use cardstock. Um, as a card base, just because, um, it's easier. I have, you know, plenty of it. And when I'm designing cards for other people to stamp with me, I have more of, you know, cardstock to be able to share that. Let's do these with some stamp dimensionals. Great question, Sean. Thank you for throwing it out there. <laughs> um, Oh, Debbie says she tried to order the fall suite. There is a Blackberry Beauty Suite, and the designer paper is currently not available. But, Debbie, you can order everything else in that suite if you want. You, it's only the designer paper, and it, it will be available. It just is not. It's just not in stock right now. So sometimes that becomes available, like, within days of the pre-order. So I just held off. I think I ordered one or two things from that suite, and I'll get the rest when it comes in. Um... Because, you know, you, you you don't have to just limit yourself to one pre-order. And you don't have to order everything at once. <laughs> That's something I always say, too. Like, just because today is when the pre-order started doesn't mean you have to order today. It also means that you, you don't have to order everything today. Maybe you can order again <laughs> another day. Um, so break up, pace yourself, break up your order. If you're a silver level level demonstrator then you're going to earn product credit for your sales last month. And that is going to come through around, um, I don't know, like in another week or so. So that is something to keep in mind. You'll want to save some of your wish list to get with your product credit. I love that little perk for silver level, lover, level demonstrators. And to be a silver, you only need one, um, one team member under you. So really really achievable and then we get little extra perks more perks the more people you have under you as you build your team there's lots of lots of perks my favorite perk is just having so many friends who love the same thing I do let's add one more dimensional I feel like this is caving in here just gonna put one more there for a little more support oh my gosh I love it I love it what do you think we need some gems though don't you think like we need something to fill in this space here so let's grab our genial gems i think that might be a good with the lighter green or is that too much green i don't know what do you think is that too much green to do Ooh, I really like that against the green cardstock, though. Okay. Mm. Do -do 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 -do. What do you think of that? Maybe the two up here. Do you like it? Oh, I love, love, love it. Okay. Um, yeah, the penguins. Okay, I'm, I'm behind on your comments again. You guys started chatting and my comments got stuck at the stop. Oh, Margo and those squirrels. <laughs> Tony got them too. Tanya, I'm right there with you. No squirrels for me. <laughs> Hi, Grace from New Zealand. I'm so glad that you're joining us today. It's morning for you, so I hope you're having a good Friday. 
Um, Sean says, can you explain that silver level thing so us non-demonstrators can understand it? I will do that in just a second, Sean. Um, Carol, you've been a demonstrator for 19 years. Me too. It has been such a fun journey, hasn't it? Uh, okay. I think I'm down here at the bottom. You guys are loving this. <laughs> Sean, you thought you could live without this set? I really love it. You know, I'm... I feel like it's too gray down here, though. Okay, guys, bear with me. Naturally, don't tear it apart. Too late. <laughs> we need a stronger color for our pot because it's just, it's blending in with everything else. So let's do, let's just redo that really quick. I want to do, um, we're going to do soft suede. Oh! Goodness gracious, Julie. Good grief. Okay. Oh, that's not much better, is it? It's still, it's still really light. Let's try um, cinnamon cider. I think that's a really pretty um, warm, warm brown color. I'm gonna do a quick wipe. Clean that really quick. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's going to be better. And should this, should that be, I'm going to do it on white. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, sometimes when I don't plan a card, I, you know what? I reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm always editing my cards as I go. You know that. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, you guys are really chatty now, and I'm missing all your comments. Okay. <laughs> Tearing apart the card. Uh, it would not be Thursday Night Stamp Therapy if I wasn't tearing something apart. You are absolutely right. But I think we're going to like this card so much better when we're all done. Oh, you know what? We also want to stamp on the inside, so don't let me forget to do that. Okay. Come on, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Get in there, come on, go, 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 go. Why isn't it moving? Come on, there it goes. Okay, perfect. Perfect cutting job. Well done, Julie, thank you. <laughs> Here's my box of white scraps. Do you guys do this? Do you save like every little tiny piece? <laughs> Sometimes I go through it because I just know what I'll use and what I won't. And the really, really skinny ones, um, I don't usually save those very often because they just, it, it gets to be too much in there. And then uh, I don't use them and I, the box is just full of little tiny ones. I love that so much better. And we're going to redo the words on white. Again, with the evening evergreen. I'm going to give that a second so I don't smear it. While that is doing that, let's stamp on the inside. using the same stamps, but without the die cuts. So you don't have to die cut them. You can just stamp them. Do we have words we want to put on the inside? Um, so to a dear friend on the front. Uh, oh, I love that. You were there and I am very grateful. That is really nice. Let's put that at the top as well. Oops, we want to do this in evening evergreen. We're really doing a lot of 
a lot of green today, right? With the trees. I guess our tree wasn't green, though. So, not tons of green. But plant life. I'm just hand cutting this one. We're going to make it short. I'm going to skip the angle and just do to a dear friends. If you are anal, you can use your paper trimmer. And be more exact, but I think that's going to work out just fine. <sighs> yes, I like that better. I think that looks good. And I did see, um, was it Robin who said to try the other colors? Um, the yellow ones, they almost, on this dark green background, they almost look the same. So these are the green ones, and this is the yellow one. And I feel like you can't really tell that much. So I'm going to put that one back and stick with the green ones. That works. To a dear friend, you were there, and I am very grateful. Oh my gosh, I love the way that turned out. Thank you for your help and helping me get that tweaked up. And see, aren't you so glad we tore it apart? Yeah, <laughs> Kathy says, I like this version better. Me too. <laughs> I, uh, by trade, actually, I am an editor and usually with words, but um, I edit my cards too. Like I'm just in constantly tweaking and changing them to make them a little bit better than the previous version. That's just my nature. All right, let's look at, I think I have some other cards to share with you. I guess just two. Um, so here's one that I made. We did this another time for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. Same color, same card, or accordion card, not in the background. And then we did this one another time, and this one was cased right from the catalog. Love these colors. I should have known, cinnamon cider. That's just the way to go. Okay, let's move on. We did that one. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna sneak in here. So we did Bloom Where You're Planted, but I showed you, this was the inspiration card. So this one is vertical and this one is horizontal, but same layout. And so I wanted to share with you some more pansy cards using the pansy petal designer paper because it is also on sale. It is 15% off as well as these other eight papers. And um, we shared this one in a recent Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie. So you, you may have seen these cards. I won't dwell on them. I'm just going to show you really quick because it's on sale. The Pansy Petals designer paper features a lot of the new in colors. We've got Evening Evergreen, Polished Pink, Fresh Freesia, Pale Papaya, and Soft Succulent. Also, a um, little Calypso Coral in there, Soft Sea Foam. So many great patterns with this Pansy Petals designer paper. Um, here's a card that I created. I stamped that and I used the, the paper here. Love this layout. These are the cards that I cased from the catalog using designer paper as the background and the, the one here. Lots of detailed die cutting here, but I incorporated lots of the designer paper. This is the one that I shared in the video. So this was not this past Sunday, but the Sunday. No, this was this past Sunday. Was it? Oh, golly. I've lost track. I think it was just this past Sunday, right? <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Thursday, July 1st. I know that. I just can't remember what video is what. I think we just did this this past Sunday. Anyway, this is a double Z fold card. I used a lot of the designer paper on this one and I die cut the designer paper. This is, I love that we have these patterns just like the bloom where you're planted paper. This one also has images that you can die cut right from the designer paper. And this designer paper works well with other, um, stamp sets as well. So I use the flowering fl or flourishing flowers <laughs> uh, for this impossible card and I used the party puffins with this polka dot background for this easel card. So um, this is the pansy petals, just beautiful. Love this designer paper and it is on sale with everything else. Okay. So our last designer paper that we're going to feature tonight and create a project with is called Hand Penned. And if you were watching 
last night, then you saw the projects that we created using um, the hand pens and the Simply Succulents. So this is the, we made these two cards. I think I just have two of them. Uh, two of these cards using the designer paper in the background and the Simply Succulents. This was the online class that we did last night. If you didn't see it, make sure to catch the replay. There's five different cards using the Simply Succulents. This is a fun one. This is designer paper on the front. So I cut the panel. So it's just a one inch panel on the front and then the designer paper. So you can see the inside and the outside. So this is kind of like a designer paper card base, but it's a cheat because <laughs> it uses less designer paper. Um, and then these don't even use the hand pens or the coordinating stamp set, which is called hand penned petals. We got the party puffins again here and those flourishing flowers. As you can see, this designer paper has some really great soft florals, uh, but the B-side patterns are what really win me on this paper. Um, let me show these off first. I think I'm missing a pattern. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. What is the other one? Well, I'm missing one. I'm not sure what it is. Um, oh, it's this one, <laughs> the green one. <laughs> so the other side is uh, Misty Moonlight and the Pale Papaya. And then uh, we have soft florals on the other sides of all of these beautiful colors. Pool Party, Highland Heather, So Saffron, um, Garden Green, Mint Macaron, Blushing Bride, Pale Papaya, a little bit of cinnamon cider in there for the flowers. I thought that was really an interesting choice. Uh, Misty Moonlight is the blue in here. Really, really pretty. So this pattern actually was what influenced or inspired the color challenge that I posted recently on Julie Stamping Spot Share and Connect group. So uh, if you've been following that group for a while, you know I post every other week, I post a color combination and I challenge you to create a card with it. So the colors for this color challenge were Mint Macaron, Blushing Bride, So Saffron, and Misty Moonlight. And this designer paper was the inspiration. So we're gonna make a card using these colors tonight. And before I do that, since I have them out, I'm gonna show you Use some other swap cards using this designer paper. Um, this one is from Ruth Bingle. This one is one that I created with the little panels. I love that pattern. It might be my favorite. <laughs> this one's by Tracy Jacob. This one by Gwen Duckworth. Here's one by Sandy Carlson. Mary McCormick. And Rachel Chamberlain. And the card that we're gonna make tonight, I am casing or copying, copy and share everything or copy and selectively edit. This one is by Anna Masternak. She is a team member of mine down in Florida and she's so talented. She always makes the most beautiful cards and I loved how she did the tag across here. So this is the card that we are going to copy tonight. And um, using a lot of the same colors, just um, mixing up a little bit. Instead of the ribbon, because it doesn't match the color combination I want to use, I'm going to substitute um, that Misty Moonlight cardstock piece. Uh, don't let me forget we've got mail call when I'm done with this. Some cards that I got in the mail I want to share with you. This card uses the tailor-made tag dies. This is a new one in the catalog. It's got different tag shapes and different sizes, four different sizes of two different designs. And then the pieces in the middle are like the little tag, like grommets or whatever. So I did that just like, um, just like Anna did in Blushing Bride. And then, um, what else do we have? Oh, the dies. Let's get the stamp set out. I've got all these pieces in this box. I'm not being very good about being quiet. So let's just be loud and get it all out. <laughs> okay, I showed you that. So hand penned petals. This is the de designer paper that coordinates with the hand penned designer paper. And I can tell you, though I don't have it to show you yet, there is a new hand penned black and white paper that's coming out in the celebration brochure that you'll be able to earn for free during celebration part two, which starts August 
3rd, and it coordinates with the stamp set. So I'm really excited to get that. I did add that to my order tonight. Uh, so this set of dies has some detailed dies as well as some outline dies. And this one is really fun. You saw this in a few of the cards. It is a stitched border and scalloped uh, border die. So I'm going to use this on the card just like um just like Anna did but I'm going to put it right on the mint macaron card base I'm just gonna cut off that end and you know what my my stamp and cut emboss in boss machine is on the floor across the room and instead of lugging it over here I'm just gonna go die cut that really quick so hang tight I should have done it ahead of time. I thought I was going to go crooked for a minute, but I backed it up. <laughs> so this does not die cut like the whole thing out. It just cuts the stitch border and the scallop and it, it stays attached to the card. So it's kind of fun. Just a little border die. Oh, here's my package. Let's slide that back in there so I don't lose it. I did die cut the tag ahead of time. So we're going to go ahead and do some stamping. I guess before we do that, we can add our designer paper. Um, I wasn't sure what size to cut this. I guess I should have measured it first. Um, hmm. I love that. Yes, I think I need to cut this designer paper just a little bit. So let's cut this down to one and a half instead of two inches. I also need to cut it to be five and a half to go down the side of the card. So that's, that's what we got. The other, so the other thing is you could put it here. I don't know, which way do you like it? I have a, a white cardstock to go inside. Do you like the blue on top or do you like the blue underneath? Leave a comment and let me know. This is the blue on top. And if we moved it underneath, I would move the designer paper over. So that's what it looks like underneath. So, okay, so either top or under, that's what I need to know. Top or under. And if it was under, then like this would open and, and that would be glued down. So there'd be kind of like an open edge. Okay, I'm seeing your comments come through, but I'm going to let you discuss that for a second while we do the stamping on the tag. So we're going to start with the outline flower. So I'm gonna need memento. For that um, you could use another black but this is the only black currently in Stampin' Up's product line so this is the only one that I use um, but we're not using Stampin' Blends so you don't have to use the memento here and I'm just gonna go across the card like this so it doesn't we don't get the whole thing on the tag but we get most of it and now we're going to fill it in with some colors. So I've got Mint Macaron, Misty Moonlight, and Blushing Bride. I'll start with the bigger flowers and do those in Misty Moonlight. Not Misty Moonlight, a Blushing Bride. <laughs> Get it together, Julie. Um, do we want to incorporate some of the yellow? Ooh, I kind of like that idea. Let's do the big flower in pink, the small ones in so saffron I guess not the small ones the medium ones so this is going to be yellow and yellow so this is a two-step stamp set so I'm just adding these colors by the way this is the paper that is hand penned and hand colored literally by Stampin' Up concept artists they created um, oh, this might be too dark. Do we like it stamped off? Oh, I think I'm going to like that full strength. 
um, they hand pens and hand painted this paper. And so the video, if you haven't seen it, um, the video is on my, uh, well, I shared it from Stampin' Up's Facebook page. I shared it on my Facebook page. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to look for that. It's really fascinating to watch them create. And they've done this before. They've painted and drawn designer paper. So I love that Stampin' Up! Designer Paper has that, like, exclusive, like, truly professional artist kind of um, look to it. So it's not just computer generated. It is handmade, hand-drawn, hand-painted gorgeousness. Doing a little liquid glue to add our little tab. I love this little like touch of color on the tag. I think it just really, really finishes it and makes it pop. Okay, isn't that beautiful? That came together so well. Okay, I'm gonna scroll back through your comments and let's see what you say about this blue strip. If we want it uh, on top or if we want it underneath. Uh, yeah, Jana's this stamp set is so beautiful. Let me bring it back in here so you can see it. Hand penned petals, and you saw all those swap cards. It is just gorgeous. Um, okay, so Carol says blue underneath. Mary Ellen under. Debbie under. Both are nice, says Pam. Margie says under. Michelle says under. I'm seeing a lot of under. And yes, Deanna, this blue is misty moonlight. Um, I just love this blue color. It's an in color. And I'll be really sad when it goes away. I'm seeing most of you say that you like the blue underneath. So we're going to do that. All right. First, I'm going to glue down the white. And it's dawning on me that maybe we should stamp something inside. <laughs> you guys are like, duh, Julie. Of course you should stamp something inside. Sometimes I don't think about it. I'm trying to be better. Let's just stamp like a little peekaboo of the flowers. So let's, I'm just gonna stamp. I'm using my grid paper to, to go off the edge um, so that I don't catch it since I already glued that white to the card. So just a little, see, I protected my, protected my grid there, but we want to add color to this. So we're gonna do our two step on here as well. So let's do that really quick. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to add color with the two-step. And I love that there are so many different stamps for each of the parts so that you can stamp the different colors. And, and, and it's not like all the same color, right? This smaller one is going to be yellow and then... Blue flowers and they don't fit perfectly so like that's awesome too if you don't like center it just right it's okay close enough okay that's so pretty down there um I was trying to see if there was anything I wanted to stamp on the inside and there is not. <laughs> the words I'm going to say on the front um, are feel better soon. So there's not really, not really a good thing to pair, but that's okay because this is just going to give you room to write whatever you want. Now this blue piece is a half inch by five and a quarter. That's going to go all the way to the edge to show off and highlight the stitched scallop stitched border here. And then this one and a half inch by five and a quarter, no, five and a half inch designer paper that has all of our beautiful colors in it is going to go right up near that stitched border coming together beautifully. This is going to come up here. We're gonna add a little bit of twine to finish that off. And our sentiment before we place the tag. Oh, now I'm wondering if I should go high. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Decisions, decisions. <sighs> I like it horizontal. Do we want the words down here? Up here. Is that where you would have put it? <laughs> 
I put it there so I can't undo it. That's one thing that I cannot undo is stamping the sentiment on the card base. Once it's down, it's down. I could cover it up. Uh, I guess that is the <laughs> that is the other option is to cover it up, but we're gonna go with it. Tell me what you think. Did I <laughs> did I screw it up or is it gonna look good? So again, this card I copied from Anna Masterneck, one of my team members, and she did this in our team swap. It's one of the things I love about um, love about being a demonstrator is swapping cards, swapping ideas, like just having that fun, fun community. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> Let me bring in Anna's card while I'm putting the final touch, the dimensionals on this card so you can see how they compare. I kept a lot of it the same. I used the same designer paper. I used the same colors. Um, I did change out the ribbon. So she used some pale papaya ribbon and instead I cut the card base for the scallop border and put the blue underneath. And then I did add yellow to the, um, I added yellow to the flowers because I wanted to tie in that color. One final, final, final touch is going to be to add some rhinestones to the center of the flowers. I know we talked about the first card was a nice flat card and I talked about not using embellishments, but hmm, sometimes you just need to. <laughs> sometimes you just need to add. Oh my gosh, I missed a whole bunch of comments again. I don't know how this happens sometimes. And my comments get stuck up top and um, <laughs> and I'm so if I missed something, guys, I'm sorry, I'll try to go back and um, catch up and answer any questions that you might have had that I missed. I'm going to switch that out for a smaller one. So I got one big one and then two medium ones. Oh my gosh, yes! There is my finished card! Tonight we were featuring uh, cards using the designer paper. Okay, I'm remembering as I'm pulling this out that we were going to do mail call, so I promise we're going to do that in just a second. Uh, we did the top row tonight. We used the Beauty of the Earth designer paper to make this tree card. We used Bloom Where You Planted to make a designer paper base card. So awesome. And we finished off the night with a hand-penned um, card. So, so many ways that you can use designer paper. And uh, all nine papers are on sale during July through August 2nd, 15% off. You can get these in the online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Before you go, let's do a quick mail call and see what came in my mailbox. I've been getting lots of cards for the great big card swap. If you don't know what I'm talking about, leave a comment and I will share the post so you can see all the details. We'll be doing the another showcase of the great big card swap later on in July on the 22nd. These cards came to me personally and were not part of the card swap. So I just wanted to show you these off, show these off. This one is by um, Karen Nevin, Naveen. Um, and she sent me this beautiful thank you card. This is an old paper pumpkin kit called Hugs from Shelly. Um, and so I just love, it. it's so fun getting mail, isn't it? I love getting cards in the mail. It makes me feel special and I know it makes other people feel special. So please, please, please send the cards that you make, make somebody's day, make somebody smile. Karen, thank you for making me smile. I'm grateful for you. This card came from Margie. Oh gosh, Margie, I know you're watching too. Okay. The, the, the Selsky. Am I saying that right? Um, <laughs> that was my biggest fear in doing the card stop showcase is that I was going to just mess up everybody's last names. The Selsky. The, the Selsky. 
Oh, I hope I got it right. Okay. Love your card so much. This is really fun. It has, um, this is, what is this? Dandelion Wishes stamp set. Love the, the pop of yellow. This is so fun. Um, and Margie stamped her own designer paper here with the stamps on the sides. And then this middle part is what opens up. So Margie was one of the recipients of the Aloha pouch giveaway that I, uh, did last month, the little drawing. And so she sent me a little thank you card and it made my day. Thank Thank you so much, Margie, for this beautiful card. And yes, it sounds like I got your name right. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I know. It's so pretty with the yellow and black, Tony. You are right. This card is from Tony Shaw. Thank you so much, Tony. This is a birthday card. My birthday is later this month on July 16th. And so it's a little early and the first birthday card I've gotten this year. So thank you so much, Tony. Um, you make me feel so special. I love your card and I love that you remembered <laughs> my birthday coming up. Uh, the last thing just arrived today. This is from Stampin' Out. And look at this cute box. This is my first time getting one of these cute little boxes. They recently changed the, um, the gift boxes that they're doing for pins. So the pin that I received is for my $800,000 milestone. So it has eight little rhinestones in it to signify every $100,000 that I have sold in my 19 year career with Stampin' Up. So what a milestone. I hit this milestone right before um, May. So this just arrived. It's been about a month or so. And um, I, I just thought this was awesome. So now I got to figure out a way because like I want to reuse this beautiful box and the little, I love this little closure. So I'm going to have to come up with with something fun. I'll, I usually display my pins so I can take out my foam and like this is so fun for like little trinkets or embellishments. So I'm going to have to think on that and come up with something fun. Oh, thank you guys so much. It, it really was an amazing milestone and continues to be. And if you don't know, Stampin' Up! Uh, rewards demonstrators every time they hit a career sales milestone of $100,000, demonstrators get a $1,000 bonus check. So it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get your 100000 It might take you 10 years or 20 years or whatever. You still will get your $1,000 bonus check whenever you hit that milestone. And I love it. So for every single $100,000, you get that cash bonus. So that was really awesome that it hit right before we went to Maui. And I will be using my cash bonus this year on um, our vacation that we're taking next week. So we're going up to... Uh, uh, Michigan. We we're renting a house uh, right on a lake with a boat and I can't wait to just get away and spend some time with the kids. So thank you for helping me reach that milestone. Thank you for helping me splurge on this vacation with my family. I appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you for joining me tonight for Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. Leave a comment and tell me what you think uh, of the cards that we made tonight. Which one is your favorite? One, two, or three? I always am curious to see what your favorite is, what your style is, what, what you enjoy stamping. Which of these would you remake at home? What have I inspired you to create? Um, I'm hoping to film something ahead of time so that there'll be Thursday Night Stamp Therapy next week. Um, I'm not going to make any promises, so we'll just see if I can't get anything done ahead of time. I will post a link to an old episode so you can still enjoy a little Thursday night stamp therapy, but fingers crossed, I'll get something ready to share with you. And I do have a video ready to go on Sunday, Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie. So watch for that on YouTube at noon on Sunday. Happy 4th of July, and I will see you next time. Bye.